Good afternoon, Roosevelt. My name is Jake Kahn, and I am back with your world news. In light of recent events, today's world news is going to look a little different than normal. For those unaware, on Tuesday, three died and eight were injured at Oxford High School during a school shooting after a sophomore from the school opened fire later that afternoon. Among those dead is 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, 16-year-old Tate Meyer, and 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana. Oxford is a relatively small community in Oakland County located about an hour north of Wyandotte. The high school has about 1,700 students. This event br brought forth to many students' minds the idea of safety. Therefore, instead of informing you about what's happening in the world, we want to refresh your minds about Alice training and how to protect yourself during an active shooter scenario. You, Alice is an acronym that can help keep you and many others around the school safe during these scenarios. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. The A in ALICE stands for Alert. Alert doesn't just begin when there is an active shooter within the building. Listen for warning signs when talking or overhearing a conversation between students or seeing things on social media. If you hear something that doesn't sound right, alert one of your teachers or a member of the staff immediately. If there is an active shooter threat in the building, Alert is letting everyone know there is a dangerous threat in or around the building. This alert may be a gunshot or even people screaming. If you hear a gunshot, use the PA to announce where the shooter is and what they may look like if you have that description. The L and Alice stands for lockdown and in the event of an active shooter where you cannot evacuate, you must lock down and barricade the doors to keep everyone safe. Use whatever you can find to block the entrances to the location you are in. Always be prepared to evacuate and, and counter if needed. The I in L stands for inform. Communicate real-time information on the shooter's location. And if you have a description of the shooter, share that as well. When talking, you must use clear and direct language. Do not use code words. The C in L stands for counter. Counter is a last resort if all else fails. The goal is to distract the shooter's ability to aim and shoot accurately. Move towards the exits, making loud noises while throwing objects. If you are able to, swarm the shooter while holding them down. Try to disarm them. If you are able to get the weapon away from the attacker, place it in a trash can or a secure place where they cannot get it. If you decide to leave the attacker and evacuate, take the weapon with you in a trash can so that you or another student is not mistaken for the shooter and they no longer have the weapon. The E in Alice is evacuate. Although it is the last letter, it should be your top priority. If it is safe to leave, this should be your goal. Run as fast as you can out of the building. Look for non-traditional exits. Aim to be at our rally points of the Yak Arena. These trainings help you to be prepared as possible if the unthinkable happens within our school, work, or even anywhere else. The students and staff at Oxford High School were trained and responded accordingly. It is believed that this helped minimize the impact of this horrible event. Thank you for tuning in to this World News Update. For more information on Alice, please visit the links in the description and have a great day, RHS.